Almost um, as it be now, as it stands now, migration in Europe is going to be toughened in every corner or country in Europe. I just finished giving an update on the European Union uh, Pact on Migration, which they have agreed. And more measures are also being debated to be agreed. So, which means that um, somehow, somehow, they are going to all come to agreement on this matter okay so france oh now nah, is what i'm about to give you update about france puffins eat um anti-migration stance all right so pay attention and hear the full story here so for this information is for those who are coming to europe in the nearest uh, future or coming through the um, land route, which is uh, the Mediterranean Sea, then you get to Italy, or you pass Morocco, or you pass uh, Cuta, and um, this island there to jump into Spain. Um, no, that one is Spain. So this one is um, France. Okay, the, the whole countries in Europe are all toughening their stance on migration, so it's not going to be business as usual again. Okay, now for a long time now, negotiations teetered on the brink of failure. Now, the two chambers of the French parliament have voted in favor of a new controversial immigration law. It's been over a year, it was over a year now, since the French president Emmanuel Macron, which is the man here, um, pledged that his government would aim to implement a balanced reform to immigration laws. The aim was to have a law that would prevent irregular migration and facilitate the deportation of asylum seekers whose claims have been rejected so that you will not be going to court, you will not be looking for lawyers that will appeal these cases for you. This is the reason why. And now they have voted um, in favor of this. So starting from next year, 2024, it is no longer going to be the business as usual. Okay. Now, in this, um, in this uh, case, the aim was to have a law that would prevent irregular migration and facilitate the deportation of asylum seekers whose claims have been rejected, but what would also encourage the integration of working migrants so that in case you are working in, that, in their country, you will have a job, more job opportunities, because what they are saying is that much immigrant immigrant will you know make the labor market to fall thereby people who are working will no longer be able to earn a, a job that a professional is supposed to be contacted to come and do they will go and carry a migrant who doesn't have the certificate who have not gone through the four walls of the school to study and get all the necessary certificate you know to come and do the job thereby making the person who spent time money energy and everything to study or learn that thing to become useless this is what they are fighting in the other hand all right so pay attention however in the parliamentary elections in the summer of 2022 macron's governing coalition lost lost its absolute majority in france national assembly the second parliamentary chamber is already dominated by the center right republicans less republicans who have shifted further rightward in recent years under pressure for Marine Le Pen's far right national rally the senate had already moved or removed a central point on the reform um, early in the proceedings migrants will not be granted permanent residency in france even if they find jobs in industries with a shortage of workers the government then had to make further difficult concessions in the joint committee consisting of seven senators and seven deputies. The new immigration law will put France on the same anti-migration course that has recently been adopted by other states, notably the Nordic countries. French citizens prioritize for social benefits. The, govern the government has made significant um, concessions to the conservative opposition parties 
especially on resident permit and access to social benefit. People without employment will have to wait five years before they can become eligible for child benefit. So if you like to be giving um, birth up and down like never before in France, they say that you have to wait for five years before you can qualify, before you can become eligible, before you can become eligible for child benefit. Do you hear that? So it is no longer going to be business as usual. It is no longer going to be business as, as usual. The enforceable right to housing or personal support for freelancers is um, also going to be for five years. For immigrants with jobs, the waiting period will be two and a half years. So if you are working uh, for you to earn all this uh, child benefit and other social benefit, it will be two and a half years. Why those that are not working, we have to wait for five years. Access to housing benefit was a particular bone of contention between the government parties and the Republicans. Foreigners from outside the European Union now only will only, we now only be eligible for housing benefits when they have been resident in France for five years. So if you have not stayed in France for five years, you will not be eligible for the housing benefit. However, those who have a job and or are studying or who are recognized asylum seekers will receive this support after three months residency. Do you now see the difference? So those without documents are going to suffer heavily in France. Migrants without resident permits, so-called sans papiers, are often the subject of heated debate in France. The rules are being tightened for them as well. State representatives in the, uh, in the French region, uh, which is prefect, will in future have the authority to grant residence permits to those individuals if they are working in occupations where there is a labor shortage, have been living in France for at least three years, and have been employed for at least uh, the past 12 months. However, the resident permit will only be valid for one year. Now, do you see the difference? So they are not going to get uh, the permanent residency. One concession from the opposition to the government is that employees will be able to apply for the residence perm uh, permit without having to obtain their employer's consent. The sans papiers reform is initially being classified as an experiment applicable only until 2026. Then they will have a second look at it, whether it is working well or not, before they can take the next step. Being in France irregularly will once again become a criminal offense punishable by one year in prison and a fine, a fine of 3,750 euros, equivalent to $4,105. The Republicans' party leader, Eric Ciotti, received assurances from the Interior Minister, Gerard Dam Damanin, that he would expedite the construction of deportation centers 11 new administrative recession centers are due to open in France by 2027. So deportation is part of this deal and they are working hard to, you know, fulfill that. So let me quickly back it up with this video from uh, France 24. Much wrangling and the previous defeat in France's lower house, Emmanuel Macron's immigration reform bill finally passed late on Tuesday night, but not without opposition. 59 members of Macron's party and its allies voted against or abstained on the bill, but it passed with support from the right. The far right also voted in favor. The bill will force foreigners to wait longer before they can access state subsidies and make it harder for immigrants to legally bring family members to France. Okay. Some members of the government raised their voices against what they viewed as a sop to the far right. The interior minister was adamant the reforms are fair. There's no abolition of state medical aid. There's no end to emergency accommodation for undocumented workers. There are, on the other hand, measures for regularizing these workers. There's an end to minors in administrative reception centers. International coordination has been greatly simplified. A big asylum reform, probably the greatest ever in our country. And of course, strong measures against foreign delinquents. 
The far-right National Rally Party rejoiced, saying the vote had shown its long-held anti-immigration convictions had prevailed. This ideological victory, this recognition of our solutions, proves that the policies that you have put in place up to now, that of playing both sides, do not work. The law was denounced by the left, who said it was venturing into what it sees as dangerous territory. You know that this law does unbearable violence to our common principles, since targeting foreigners means we will be targeted next. This law tramples on the principles that unite the people of the French Republic. Left-leaning minister Aurélien Rousseau is rumored to have submitted his resignation. The prime minister said she nor the president had received the letter. All right, guys, so I believe you have heard that. So that is how it's going in France now. Um, every country in Europe now is you know, tightening up or gearing up on immigration. 2024 is going to be tough so let's see to that i'll see you guys on the next one stay tuned and share the video god bless you